do you really want to be successful? I was having a conversation with someone about a situation. And I'm a fighter. I don't just lay down and take shit. Sometimes it takes me a little time to get the results I want, but usually I get them. And I don't give up. You know, I was talking to a friend. And I was called crazy because I was fighting for what I wanted. I was, you know, I was fully vested. And this was a few weeks ago. And I just like, what the hell? I, You know, it just started to make me think about a lot of things because I remembered that I heard similar things when I wrote my first book. Similar things, similar doubts. And I, I just started like, oh, this is what this is. This is what this is because essentially the advice I've been giving was lay back, calm down, and these things will eventually work themselves out. I am not geared that way. I am not wired that way. I am the type of guy that would blow some shit up. When I say blow it up, I mean scorched earth policy. Fortunately, in my life, there's only been four incidents where I've had to do such things. And the results were pretty devastating all four times. But more importantly, the conversation made me ask some questions. And I'm asking you a question. Do you want to be really, do you really want to be successful? I mean, do you really want to be successful? Because people say they want success. The hard work of success is usually done late at night, early in the morning, out there on the field, in that classroom, or you are working on proposals at three o'clock in the morning. That's where success happens. It doesn't happen after the check is cashed. The success happened long before then. Uh, do you really, really want to be successful? Is that something that you really, really want? Have you sold out to being successful to get the things you want? Have you really, really? Because I, I started to think back. It's like, I've heard this before. And then I went back. It's like, I heard this in the storage auction business. Don't do that. Don't push too hard. Don't invest your heart. Why the fuck shouldn't you invest your heart in something that you are invested in and determined to realize a certain outcome? Why shouldn't you invest? And it hit me. Many people do not really want to be successful. And they say they want success. They act like they want success. But when it comes down to doing the work, developing the strategy, putting together what they need to put together to be successful, going the extra mile. Sometimes success takes going the extra inch, not mile, not even foot, just sometimes an extra inch because I'm going to tell you, I was taking some wrong advice from someone. I asked the person a very specific question and he gave me an answer that I later found out to be false and, and there was no malice in it. He just didn't know. And that, that information was game changer. And I got all mad at myself because I didn't do my due diligence. I was like, you did not, you didn't find out for yourself. That was your problem. That was your issue. That's what you did. You did not find out for yourself. And I was very, very salty with myself for that because I was like, damn, you dropped the ball. I'm like, seriously, I'm still pissed about it. I'm, I am still pissed about it. Because when you operate on the wrong information, you get the wrong outcomes. But with success in getting the things that you want, you have to be, in some cases, maniacal which is a derivative of the word maniac 
yes, you have to be a maniac because when I realized what was happening, I had to realize I had to use my sheep brain. See, I don't. I'm, I'm a unicorn. That that's a joke of us, me and some of my friends. I'm a unicorn. You know, you hear about us, but you rarely see us. And then I had to go back and imagine myself in the pasture. I had to see myself with the flock again. I had to go ba ha 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 ba. I had to use my sheep brain to understand how people were trying to interpret my actions because I thought. I want this result. This result's gonna take this action. Well, no, that's not working, so we're gonna do this. Well, that didn't work, we're gonna do this. Well, no, that didn't work, we're gonna do this. Well, that didn't work. Well, oh, now we got a result. Not the exact result, but we're moving in the right direction, so we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. And when I look at that from my unicorn brain, it's like appropriate action. But when I go, bah, when I look at it with my sheep brain, oh, motherfucker, you crazy. Who in the world would put that much time and effort into something like that? It's just not worth it. You're wasting your time. You're not, you're just crazy. You're obsessed. You have just lost your mind. Then it hit me. When you go to the pasture, what are the sheep doing? They all look down and eat their grass. They're all looking down. That's why they don't see the predators that come to get them because they're looking down. And then when the flock starts to move, they all move because they feel that something's bad's happening. So looking at it with my sheep brain, I'm like, Mother, you, you fucking crazy. Who would be up until 4 a.m. doing research? Who would be doing that and then get up at six and then work on the business? Who does that? Only crazy people do that. Sheep brain. Only crazy people. I can, you know, I'm gonna work my 40, you know, maybe get a little overtime and you know, I'm that's it. You know, I'm gonna lay back, get some wings, drink a beer, kick back with the boys, kick back with the girls, because you know, I deserve this time off because I work so hard. You don't fucking understand. When you only do the bare minimum, you're gonna have a minimum fucking life. That is the problem with sheep. Because anytime someone is doing more than the minimum, it's a problem because it makes them look in the mirror because they're like, oh shit, I'm a fucking sheep. Cause see, they thought they were an eagle. They thought they were a lion. They thought they were maybe a bear or something. It's just like, you know, claws everywhere just walking around but when they look in the lake and to see the reflection and it's just shit i am just a sheep i'm just a member of this flock because see when you are a unicorn what you do is you start moving and your action is so fast that you spin up this distortion in the air and what that distortion looks like, it becomes a mirror. You become a mirror. You just doing what you're doing. You ain't bothering nobody. You're not doing anything anyone. You're just doing your thing, but you make them feel uncomfortable because through your actions, they see themselves for who they really are. And for a long time, they were able to keep their head down, keep chewing on their grass and not realize and accept the fact that they are sheep so I had to go back in time use my sheep brain use my entitlement brain of how at one point I was a very fucked up human being I thought people owed me certain things just out of obligation of humanity just stupid stuff stupid stuff but that was my sheep brain working the sheep brain is very, very dangerous. The sheep brain is lazy. The sheep brain seeks to do the bare minimum, but for some reason is looking for results all out of proportion to their effort. But that's how sheep think. I want you to look at how a sheep is designed. Four legs, low to the ground neck long 
to get what you want, you have to look down. To feed yourself, you have to look down. Now, if you look at a bear, you look at a lion, they're looking up. They have to look up. They have to scan the horizon. You know, a bear, you know, say up in Alaska, the bear is like scooping fish out of, out of the river. But they have to look with a certain eye. But when you're a sheep, face down, ass up, bah. So the sheep brain is dangerous. And what's really, really scary about the sheep brain is many people don't know that they have the sheep brain. They think that they are independent thinkers. Yes, they do. They think they're independent thinkers. So when I was going through all of this stuff and I was realizing that and it's just as you develop yourself as a person, you will expose people who are not developed. You will bring them out and it's going to be ugly. It will be painful because they're going to come at you with a vigor and a gusto. I mean, utter contempt. I was talking to a friend, a new friend. And I didn't really know his walk of life. And we're just talking about people. And I brought up this situation. You would have thought that I was giving an evangel. And we were having a baptism. Because the only thing he didn't do was jump up and dance and look at the Holy Ghost. Because he said, dude, dude, when I started my business, for three years I struggled. I lost my car. I lost my house and everybody told me that I was crazy. People didn't want to hang out with me. I, people I thought were my friends disappeared. People I didn't know my who were people that I did not know who were my friends got down in the mud with me. They supported me. They rubbed my back. They brought me water when I was thirsty. It was just a crazy experience. But that seventh year when the business took off and I bought the mansion, I got the Porsche, all of a sudden people wanted to come back. Come back, hang out, and then this is what the look on his face. He said, I had one of those people who disappeared on me wanted to shame me for not helping him. Short-term memory. Sheeps have short-term memory. It's like, that's why you can keep fucking a sheep. You can go into the pasture, grab that little bitch, put them on your shoulders, go in the woods, and fuck the shit out that sheep. And then turn around the next day and do it again because they forgot. They were all traumatized, all fucked up. Then they went back to the pasture, head down, started eating some grass, and they forgot that they got fucked. That's how it is so easy to keep a sheep in the pasture short-term memory i'm still mad at what the bankers did that destroyed the world economy and then they were rewarded by bailout money and bonuses they raped the economy and then got bailout money to pay bonuses to the people who caused the meltdown anyway and you know i know no one really cares about that stuff but when i think it's like that is the craziest and they want to say pimping is dead it's not dead it's not dead at all. Pimping is one of the oldest, most stable game plans in the on the planet. It's very easy. But this is what you can do to sheep. And one of the reasons that I had such a hard time going from sheep to unicorn was the drugs that they give you in the pasture. Oh, that's some of the best crack. That's some of the best cocaine. That's some of the best. I mean, it's the. I mean, you go in and, like I said, the same person that takes you into the woods and rape you, they give you your drugs, and you know what they're doing. But they give you your drugs, and you eat that grass, and all of a sudden, hmm, it's over. You don't remember it anymore because you're on that sheep high. Y'all, your eyes all glassy. Your, your coat all fucked up but you are comfortable you have certain benefits of being a sheep because you're with the flock it's cold outside you don't have a house 
you just put out there and then when you get old and raggedy they take you to the barn and you don't come back and the, now the sheeps do know that they said oh shit melvin went to the barn oh wow he was a good little sheep they start talking about you in the afterlife already because they know your ass isn't coming back what they don't know is some of the sheep that go to the barn they get away they see a hole in the side and they just take all of their sheep power and run as hard and fast as possible to that hole and they get outside the barn and they're outside the pasture and they're like whoa there's a whole new world out here there's, there's, wait a minute wait, whoa that's not grass what the, fuck this is steak wait a minute wait a minute you mean to tell me that if I come out of here and then I work and I do more than I have to then I build things and I create things then I don't have to eat fucking grass I can eat steak I can eat bananas wait a minute whoa 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 what, what you telling me that that little sheep that they shaved all of her fur off is gonna come bring me food every day I didn't know it was uh, no no nothing like this happened in the past year everybody was complaining farting all over the place you know and just you know, every time I see the woods, I get scared. I don't know why. It's just like, mm, there's something bad about the woods. And it, it's just like, I'm out here. Next thing you know, you're walking down the street. And you notice, you are not walking on four legs anymore. You're like, what's this? And you look down, and you see you have hands. And you go by a piece of glass and realize that you're a fucking man. That is your day of reckoning. That is your day that you become somebody because the indoctrination of sheep theory is part of the grand design to keep people in check that's why i think and you know it's only a movie the matrix is only a movement but so many parallels are so deep are so on point it is scary because what happens in the matrix anyone can become an agent and kill your ass and that's what these people were doing. They were like, hey, you're being crazy. You know, you're putting too much effort. You need to calm down. You need to just chill out. Uh, you need you need to be, quote, a good little sheep. And I do walk around at times with my sheep, you know, costume. I got a sheep costume because I realized when you go to the pasture, you know, sometimes you got you got to blend in because I'm walking in there with my fucking horn out, shiny coat. <clears throat> no, I mean, they might be like the zombies in The Walking Dead because, you know, it's this one zombie, you just like, pop. You can hit a zombie in the head, he dead. But shit, if it's like a hundred of them, it's like they get stronger and more powerful. So I put my little sheep coat on and when I have to go out and do business and I don't want people to see the horn. I don't want them to see the shiny coat. I don't want them to see all the things that are going on because that breeds envy and contempt. This is why people who have money, real money, do not flex, do not stunt, because it's a protective mechanism. It ain't about being fucking humble. It's about being safe. Humble? I have hung around rich people. I know folks who make 1.5, 2, 3 million per year, and those motherfuckers are not humble. They're respectful and they're decent and they know how to act in a certain company because the things they tell me, they would never say around sheep. They would never ever say the same thing around sheep because that sheep could turn into an agent of the matrix and kill them. They know this. That's why it's like, oh, you know, the millionaire next door and all this. No. No, it's not about that. It's about if you knew how I was really living, you would really have a problem with me. So I'm gonna put the sheep cover on and I'm gonna walk out there and I'm gonna bend over, and I'm gonna walk on all fours so you really don't know to the depths of what I'm doing. Because understand, when you begin to grow out of that sheep cover when you begin to when you go to that barn and you get out of that barn and you you go into the world and you're like whoa and realize your potential and your possibility you will realize you weren't working as hard as you could you were coasting you were literally coasting 
you were chilling, you were relaxing. You know, sometimes when it was late at night and you rolled over and you looked at the stars and the stars hurt your eyes because you realized that if you worked hard enough, you could get one of those stars. Then you roll back over and just start eating grass because it was too painful to realize that what you were doing, you were fucking up. You were fucking up. So when you're dealing with sheep, understand you're dealing with a very powerful force, a self-renewing force, a force that keeps doing things to you to keep you where you are because the more unicorns out there the more flaws in the system the more disruption because i sat back and when i went back to the person who said what they said and i said let me explain something let me just say this and i i said it back to that person the way they said it to me and they said that sounded kind of crazy i was like yeah that's what i thought but when the sheep gets in that sheep mania, oh no 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 no! They can't they can't comp they can't comprehend they can't think they can't because they're a sheep. The whole thing was designed to keep them in check, so they'll keep you in check and they'll keep you from escaping. Because you say you're an internet guy and you've been making money online, you've seen how some of the perks and the privileges. I mean, you could just they're just disappearing because. The, sh the people realized that a lot of folks have left the pasture and they went online and they're like, whoa, 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 we need to bring them back to the pasture or we need to extend an electronic fence to the internet because the more people who find liberty and freedom, they'll just disrupt the system. Now, I'm going to tell you this, and this just happened and look it up. There was a guy in Oregon, 61, 64 year old man. He recently went to jail for collecting rainwater on his property. I will say that again. He was fined $1,500 and he was sentenced to 30 days in jail for collecting rainwater on his property in three reservoirs. Now, I know you're going like, that's crazy and that's bizarre. But see, if you're a sheep. You're not outraged. This is like, that's fucked up. But hey, let me go over here and get some grass. But if you're a unicorn, you're like, whoa, that's fucking canary in the mind shit. That's a that's like a test. We're going to do this to this old man to see how many people become outraged, right? And if the outrage isn't as bad as we think, we're going to do it to more of those sheep. This is just another way to bring your ass into the barn, but you don't know about it because you're eating grass. So... That's all I got to say on that. It's pretty much it. That was on my mind. I just felt a need to get that out because a lot of you want to be successful. And a lot of you are going to face sheep who will stand up on their hind legs and try to dissuade you from doing the very things that will make you successful. Working hard. Going above and beyond what you have to do consistently. Doing things that the sheep aren't doing. If you do sheep things, you're going to get sheep results. So you can't do sheep shit and expect different results because that's sheepology crazy. So you got that stuff going on because it happened with the store. It happened with eBay. I got told I was crazy about eBay. Um, got told I was crazy about doing the storage auctions. I was told I was crazy for creating the YouTube channel. I was told I was crazy for writing, you know, writing that first book. And... I take it as a sign when someone comes at me like that, I'm not on the right path. I'm on a supreme path. I am on a supreme path because every time someone's come at me like that for one of the things I was doing, when I pushed through the resistance and the friction and I got to the other side, it was just beautiful. It was just, it was just, I can't explain it to you if you never felt it. I can't break it down to you if you never felt it. it is just the highest of high natural highs. You're just walking like when I got the galley back from my first book, I was walking on fucking clouds. But the process to get to that point of getting that galley was hell. And the more hell that you catch, the greater the reward once you endure. All right. This is Glendon. I'll see you in the next session.